Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this. And if you follow me on the social media, you would know that I've been playing this game here, Titanfall. Uh, I got my copy in the mail today, courtesy of the nice people at Electronic Arts. Um, and today is currently March the 12th. It's a Wednesday, and uh, Titanfall doesn't officially come out within Australia until tomorrow, which is a Thursday, because video game companies believe that if they don't launch on a Thursday in Australia, no one's going to buy it, despite the fact that Rockstar who have broken entertainment records, and Call of Duty, who have broken entertainment records, release worldwide on the same date, and they still manage to sell a copy in Australia, believe it or not. Um, but, right, it's a laggy fucking mess, which I knew it would be, which we all knew it would be. I think the best thing that people are hoping for is that once everyone who wants it in Australia picks it up, they'll get put in the same lobby and everyone will lag together. But the problem is, that no matter how you try and mask it, and this is what I... Because I've been in arguments on, like, the Xbox Australia Facebook page and on Twitter. Oh, it was fine for me. No, it fucking wasn't. It wasn't fine for you. Just because everyone's lagging at the same rate doesn't make it fine. And then there's people in there that have full bar connection. Maybe you can change it. I don't know, but I don't know how to change the server. So apparently I must be connecting to the one in Singapore because Microsoft haven't got any servers in Australia that are built yet. And believe me, when they say we're hopeful to get servers later on down the road, it's EA. They ain't coming, ever. I, if they do, I'll ship bricks. Um, they might. I mean, when the data centers are built, uh, the Microsoft ones, like I said, one of three things is going to happen. People are going to complain and nothing's going to get done. Two, people are going to complain and something's going to get done. Or three, everyone will just forget because this game's a fucking mess. The frame rate is terrible. Um, it's laggy. The people who have a better connection than you dominate, um, because there's so much shit going on, you lag. And it's not my internet. I know it's not my internet. Why? Because I could put in Call of Duty right now, I could put in Battlefield right now, I could put in fucking a game on the PlayStation 2 in right now, and I could probably get a decent fucking connection if not host. Like I always do in Call of Duty, so don't blame my connection. The problem is that because there's no servers in here, the game's fucking shithouse. And what amazes me is that no one is saying it here. Like there are review sites that I've looked at that are based in Australia and I've noticed that some of them, and I'm not digging them, I'm, I understand, were flown out to San Francisco to play Titanfall in America. Now great, Titanfall, I've played it on a good connection when it was at the thing. And it's fucking amazing. It's an amazing game. What's not amazing is lagging like shit and being killed all the time because you like there's people I've seen that like it's on the screen that's why I'm pointing but they they ice skating they're not even moving they're just glitching everywhere it's terrible and I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow when everyone picks the game up and is everyone going to lag together or is someone closer to the server such as in maybe Western Australia the Northern Territory top of Queensland Asia even they pick it up and will lag like hell but the thing that shits me the most is. That just because everyone's lagging at the same speed doesn't mean it's not lagging. You still have fucking from Australia to Singapore to connect to. This shit's gonna lag regardless. You look at... It's ridiculous. How can... Oh, it boggles my mind how ignorant Australians are when it comes to this. This fucking thing should have a big warning right here. Warning! No local servers. Prepare for lag. But no one's saying it. Like, at the moment, at best, it deserves like a 1 out of 10. Why? Because it looks and sounds amazing. Besides that, it's laggy and unplayable. The campaign mode is fuck. I don't understand how that works. So yeah, if you're picking it up, let me know why. And if you seriously think that I'm wrong about it lagging, let me know why. Because I would love to demolish you in an argument that you cannot win. Because you're connecting across the fucking world. It's gonna lag. It lags if we connect to fucking Perth. I'm in Sydney. If we connect to Perth, guess what? It lags. We're going fucking trans-fucking-international trans on this bitch. So what do you want to happen? How is it not laggy? It is fucking laggy. And no one in the reviewing world is saying it. Some people are, but they're mentioning at the bottom. Oh, no local servers. But you still give it a fucking high score? I... <sighs> yes, it's a great fucking game. But it's only as good as the connection, which is shit. And no one is saying that. And there's going to be a bunch of angry Australians tomorrow going, Mate, I bought this game and it's not fucking working. It's not fucking working. And that's only in New South Wales. Wait till the Queenslanders get it. I bought this game, right, and it's not fucking working. It's laggy, eh? That's what they're going to say. And then there's going to, it's just going to be a shitstorm. Either that or I'm wrong and it, 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 everything will just work out, which is normally how it works for me.
But let me know what you think if you're going to get Titanfall, or if you've convinced yourself that you're not going to get Titanfall, please let me know, because it, it is annoying, like, to see these review sites not even mention it or not. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. If they reviewed it in LA, then so be it. So, until next time, rate, comment, and subscribe. Au revoir.